With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Our question is, explain 8 anulin and 10 anulin are non-aromatic. So here's the solution. We know that we use Huckel rule to identify whether a compound is aromatic, non-aromatic or anti-aromatic. And Huckel rule tells that if a compound have 4n plus 2 pi electron and have planar structure, then the compound is aromatic. And if the compound have 4n pi electrons and have planar structure, then the compound is anti-aromatic. So these are the conditions of aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds according to Huckel rule. And a compound is non-aromatic if it is a cyclic. And if it is a cyclic compound, then it should have odd delocalized electron. And if a compound is cyclic and polo Huckel rule, then it must not have delocalization of electron. Therefore, delocalization is absent. If a compound is cyclic and follow Huckel rule and also there is delocalization of electron occur, then there must be a non-planar system. So from here we can say that if a compound is non-planar in structure, then it is non-aromatic. Now in the question we have given 8 anulin and 10 anulin. So first we will discuss about the 8 anulin. The 8 anulin has structure like this. This is a cyclic structure and there are 4 pi bonds. So in 8 anulin it follow 4 and pi electron rule like if we put n is equals to 2 then we will get that 4 into 2 is equals to 8 pi electron and there are 8 pi electron in anulin. So from here we can say that the anulin is anti-aromatic but in actual it is not anti-aromatic it is a non-aromatic compound. This is not anti-aromatic because 8 anulin is not planar in structure. Here in 8 anulin, each carbon is sp2 hybridized and we know that an sp2 hybridized carbon atom have 120 degree bond angle. But here in anulin, it is not 120 degree, it will become 135 degree. So there is a large bond angle strain. So to overcome this angle strain, the structure will become like a tub shape. And the structure of 8 anulin will become like a tub shape structure. Which is non-planar and there are 4 pi bonds. So now we can say that this is. 8 anulin which have non-planar structure. It possesses the non-planar structure to overcome the angle strain in the planar structure. So from here we can say that it does not fulfill the conditions of aromatic and anti-aromatic compound because both the aromatic and anti-aromatic compounds are planar in structure but it is non-planar in structure so it is a non-aromatic compound. Now we will move to the 10 anulin. In 10 anulin, there are 10 pi electrons. So it follows 4n plus 2 pi electron rule, where n is 2. So it will become like that is 10 pi electron. So there is an indication of aromaticity. But in actual, the 10 anulin is also a non aromatic compound.
in planar structure of tan anulin like this. This is the planar structure of tan anulin and there are 5 pi bones. So here all the bones are cis bones so there is also angle strain will occur. So to overcome this angle strain the structure will become like this. So this is the structure of tan anulin. And there are five pi bonds are present over here. So here we can see that there is no angle strain in structure but this is again a non-planar complex. So again it not fulfill the conditions of Huckel rule so it is a non-aromatic compound. So this is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.